Today I'm going to prove you don't need yoga pants to do yoga. So joining us to show you how simple yoga can be is Justine Budrum, the owner and director of Ananda Yoga in Hadley. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you so much for having me, Seth. All right, let's get down and dirty. I'm wearing my regular clothes to prove that anyone can do yoga because it's not about, you know, really getting into it. It's just about movement. It's about getting out there and moving. So how do we start? All right, let's start about uh, a foot back from the front of your mat with okay. your feet hip bone width apart. So that's about two fist width apart, two of your own fist width if you want to measure your own hip bone width. And you can bring your hands to heart center. Mm -hmm. And then on an inhale, reach your arms out and up to the sky, getting nice and tall. Keep your shoulders down as you reach up. Okay. And then exhale, lead with your heart, fall to the floor, and uh, bring your hands onto your blocks. So when people are coming to a yoga practice with a little tightness in their low back and hamstrings, instead of having to go all the way to the floor, they can start off by putting their hands on yoga blocks. If you're at home and you don't have yoga blocks, feel free to use canned food or coffee cans. Oh, or anything that's a like good that. idea. So, so you, you can, can really substitute if you okay. don't have the actual prop. So hands on blocks. I'm a little stiff today, so I feel like I'm like a, a lot of people watching at home. Everyone's exactly. a little tight. Another this way you can uh, help yourself out is to bend your knees oh okay. so then you'll feel it more in your low back make sure your toes are parallel to each other parallel Go. toes and Ooh. then on an inhale you're going to draw the crown of your head forward and lift your heart just halfway looking down still looking down and then exhale plant your hands on your mat and step your right foot back to a lunge position step far enough back that your left knee is directly on top of your left ankle and my you can drop your right knee to the mat how am i doing justine you're doing great all so right if your hip flexor is a little tight then you can untuck your toes and let your foot rest if they're still tighter than that you can walk your hands onto blocks Okay, or, or soup or, cans or, or, soup or whatever, cans or whatever however the mood strikes you at home. So exactly. So, you know, if your hip flexors are a little, a little bit tighter, it's sometimes helpful to have that support. Oh, definitely. Good. So from here, you can set your blocks aside, plant your hands back on the mat, shoulder width, and exhale back to a bent knee downward facing dog. So the regular downward facing dog is going to have your legs straight. But if you're you know, newer to your practice, you're going to bend your knees a lot. Let your head and neck release and try to get a straight line from your fingertips out through your tail. Yeah, good. Am Just I doing it? Go. You're doing it good. Wow. You're doing it really I'm surprised. Great. <laughs> good. And then from here, you can step your right foot forward again. So you can, uh, if the right foot doesn't come quite forward, yeah, that's me. you can help it out with your hand. <laughs> so yeah, exactly, hike it forward a little bit <laughs> and bring your right knee right on top of the ankle and then drop your left knee to the mat. We're going back to the lunge on the other side. So just settling your hips down. And okay. once again, if you need a little help, yes. you can set yourself up on some, onto some blocks. Now, yeah. what are some of the benefits of yoga? It it's creates calmfulness. Um, it, it also helps you stretch out a little bit too, right? Helps you stretch out. It builds strength. It builds stability. And it gets you out of your typical positions. If you spend a lot of time in an office chair, your hip flexors get kind of tight because you're seated all day. So what we're doing here is we're stretching out the hip flexors and getting them nice and open. So this can be a really intense stretch for a lot of different people. And this is something that people, you know, if they don't want to go all out, if they don't have a mat or blocks, they can do simple yoga stretches. We've done this before, you and I. Exactly, exactly. On your couch or while you're watching Mass Appeal right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> what's another one? If you do have everything set to go, what, where do we go from here? You can step back to the front of your mat, walk your blocks forward to where they were before. All you right. can have them whatever level. You don't have to have them a high level depending oh, on your own flexibility. I like cheating. It makes me feel more comfortable. Exactly. Step forward and forward fold again. Bend your knees if you need to once again. Mm -hmm. And then inhale, lift your heart, lengthen your spine. Hands can stay on your blocks and exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, going bend back your down? knees, reach the arms out and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So ideally, you do that sequence again, starting with the left foot. Okay. But instead of doing that, we're going to open up the shoulders a little bit. So grab your yoga strap right All now. All right. Here. Well, unfortunately, we don't have time, which is kind of good for All me. Right. I'm a little bit sore, but it's easy. That's what I exactly, love about it. And it doesn't exactly. matter if you do it for an hour or for five minutes. It's the art and the spirit of moving. That's what's really important. Exactly. Everyone, don't go anywhere. There's more Mass Appeal coming up right after this. Thank you.